Good Wednesday morning. It's May 12th, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last, which you can find at GuyMcPherson.com. I would recommend you go to GuyMcPherson.com upon release of this video, and you can find the links to the papers I'm going to describe and quote from. The first of those, the article that brought this issue to my attention, comes from NBC News and says, The world needs to dramatically cut methane emissions to avoid worst of climate change, UN says. And I'm going to quote from the key points here. A landmark United Nations report has declared that drastically cutting emissions of methane, a key component of natural gas, is necessary to avoid the worst impacts of global climate change. Too little, too late. I've been reporting on this issue for years and constantly defamed and told I was being a paranoid conspiracy theorist for even mentioning methane as being important. But finally, it's important. Second key point, the world could slash human-caused methane emissions by up to 45% this decade, according to the Global Methane Assessment. I promise it'll be more than that by the end of this decade. The report represents a shift in the worldwide conversation on how to best address the climate crisis, which has focused on setting longer-term carbon dioxide reduction targets. That's right. That has been the overwhelming push so far has been to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Yours and mine, not from the people who actually use the most carbon-based fossil fuels in the world, but you and I have to do something about this. From the press release titled, Global Assessment Urgent Steps Must Be Taken to Reduce Methane Emissions This Decade, and the article itself quoted and represented quite nicely the press release, so there's really nothing further to say about that. From the report itself, the abstract for the report issued May 6, 2021, along with these other two previous papers, May 6, 2021. Global Methane Assessment, Benefits and Costs of Mitigating Methane Emissions. Right there in the t first line comes this one. The assessment highlights the critical role that cutting methane emissions plays in slowing the rate of global warming. Think about that for a minute. That's exactly what it does. Nothing is being hidden here. It will slow the rate of increase of global warming. It will not stop global warming. It will not reverse global warming. This will slow the rate at which the planet heats up. Well, a step in the right direction had it been taken a few decades ago, but now... I think not, because of those self-reinforcing feedback loops that we've triggered. From the report itself, Global Methane Assessment, Summary for Decision Makers. So I'm going to quote from the summary here. First line, reducing human-caused methane emissions is one of the most cost-effective strategies to rapidly reduce the rate of warming. Again, that key phrase right up front, hidden in plain sight, to rapidly reduce the rate of warming and contribute significantly to global efforts to limit temperature rise to 1.5 degrees C. Whoops, we passed 1.5 degrees C a while ago. So that's a target in the review mirror. The armadillo we ran over already, and it's dead lying in the road. If we do all of this as recommended, by 2030, this will avoid nearly 0.3 degrees of global warming by the 2040s. I think that's a non-issue. We got this one. So we've been told repeatedly by the corporate media and by paid climate scientists, not to mention government officials, that methane is a non-issue. And here we are, years later, and methane is suddenly a very important issue, as it's been all along. I've been repeatedly defamed, again, for pointing out the importance of methane, including on the National Geographic episode, Bill Nye's Global Meltdown, released in 2015. And now, now it's important. Now methane rises to the fore. In fact, I posted a short video just last Saturday on the importance of methane as a self-reinforcing feedback loop, an issue I've mentioned many, many times. Again, I'll include the links to everything I've talked about here. 
in the post at guymcpherson.com. So please take a look over there if you don't mind. And I'd like to again point out that too little, too late. We've triggered so many self-reinforcing self feedback loops, many of which have to do with methane, which has been poo-pooed as unimportant for a long time. Well, it's been important for a long time, and now we're nearing the end. There you have it. Thanks for staying tuned. We'll produce another one of these science updates in about a week. Mm -hmm.